Hi, welcome for our online trainings and placements. So whenever we are working in account receivables module, when we try to collect the amount from the customer, when we try to create a receipt, we'll enter the amount. And if the amount is exceeded, means you, if we have received more amount from the customer, if we want to go for a refund, then we'll try to perform the refund option from the actions menu more tab. And there is option here, issue refund. So when we try to do the refund option, we are trying to refund the $300 mm -hmm. to customer and try to save this record. There are a couple of errors uh, we'll be getting. So generally a system will check for your business unit is account payables uh, is enabled or not. Is account payables model setups basic setups has been enabled or not. So that we have done. Basic setups means uh, common options for payables and procurement, manage invoice options and manage uh, payment options. Those all done, it's a success. Okay, then another uh, issue we got here is the debits and uh, the block accounting entries. Okay, so here uh, we have to set the location. We need to set the location. So we'll be getting the location issue over here. So when we want to set the location, the problem is at the time of creating the location, let's go to our financials, create a location. Manage locations task here. I will go for zip code here. Let's go for review this. We are going to create location, attach this location to the business unit. So while creating the business unit, location is not a mandatory field. But when you try to make the invoice creation, Whenever we try to create an invoice, uh, definitely the location is mandatory. So let's go for assign this. I'll go to the task business unit here. Manage business unit uh, task. Search for the BU, whatever we are working. We are working for MRF uh, business unit here. Let's go for edit. Here the location. So the location we have not provided because it was optional, not mandatory field here. Only reference data set is mandatory here. Now we have updated this location. Go for save and close. Now let's go for rise the receipts here. A refund search for the receipt whatever we have created receipt number is q2 q2 is the receipt number right let's go for it search and go for edit try to issue the refund option and applied amount we have 300 dollars that we are going to refund to customer Now we are getting another uh, error here. 
the refund was not processed because the payable invoice was not created for the following reasons. So the error message is invalid assignment. So the, that earlier it was invalid location so that we have rectified. Now the error message is invalid assignment. So we are getting all these setups because for our business unit, account payables not module, account payables module was not implemented. So that's that's the issue. So here uh, invalid assignment means there might be some document sequence is enabled for account payables. Let me just check that. Where do we check the document sequence for our payables and uh, receivables? We have to go to financials. Once we go to financials, let's go to the ledger options. Specify the ledger options. I'll go to this. Manage uh, specify ledger options over here. And choose your primary ledger. US primary ledger here. Now this is our primary ledger. Okay. And go down. See. The document sequencing option is enabled. Enforce document sequencing. Last time we faced this problem in AR account receivables. And now that time what we have done is we have disabled. So if we enable this document sequence, of course, we are supposed to create a document sequence uh, for payables and receivables. Then it will not be a problem. It will generate that. So second problem we have resolved. So let's go for the, again, accounts receivables. Manage receipts. Search for our receipt here. Now whatever the unapplied amount, three hundred dollars, is there that we are going to refund? Issue refund. Check. Now we are going to save this transaction here. Now we can find the invoice has been generated successfully in account payables module. So what is the invoice number? 819075. 819075. Who is the supplier? This customer is a supplier. We call it as a party. In ER module, we have something called TCA, right? Trading Community Architecture. So our supplier also can be a customer. Our customer can be our supplier also, right? So now we will check this invoice. $300 in AP module account payables. Make sure that uh, AP modules roles has been assigned for us and also the data access. Roles has been already assigned. That's why we are able to get this uh, application access here. Now we'll see the data access has been assigned for this user and role combination or not. So the moment whenever we go here and try to search, then we'll come to, let's go to manage invoices here. Search with invoice number. Now this is the invoice number. So we got the data access also here. So the moment when we look at this invoice type, generally we have created an account payable standard invoice, credit memo, debit memo, withholding, prepayment invoice, interest invoices and all right. But this invoice type is payment request. This invoice type is payment request. Who is the supplier? MRF customer is our supplier, supplier site. How much amount you are going to refund? $300. Payment is not done so far, just invoice is raised. Of course, we will go with the next payment options and issue the payments to the suppliers. Okay. So this is how we can go for uh, refund the customer and uh, while refunding the amount, whenever we are facing some issues, we are supposed to resolve like this here. Okay. Thank you.